since Jet Engine 3.3 was released. In today's video, we are going to take a look at its new cool features and the recent updates. Stay tuned till the very end, as in the second part of this video, I will show you how to display recurring events in a calendar. By the way, if you are new to our channel, make sure you are subscribed, and of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell. This is Julia from Crocoblock, and now let's dive in. Let's start with the first feature – Location and Distance filter for JetSmart filters. This new filter type allows users to search based on location and distance. It works seamlessly with GeoSearch in conjunction with the Jet Engine Query Builder. You can search for posts, users, terms, and the CCT query types within a specific radius. It works both with Elementor and WordPress Editor. On the front end, the filter looks like a text input for location entry and the select field for choosing a distance. When clicking on the icon, the search will be performed based on the current user's location if the user gives permission to use it. When entering a text address, a drop-down list will appear under the Address Entry field, showing the address options that the current geocoding provider can find based on the entered text. We have completely redesigned the approach to the options for Select, Radio and Checkbox Meta Field types. From now on, there will be a dedicated control to select a source for options, just like we have in Crocoblock filters and forms. As of now, such sources are available. Manual input is a default source, and options can be added with the repeater logic, just like before. A bulk manual input it's a fast way to add options using one text field where each option can be added on the new line. Glossary means that options are fetched from Glossary. Before, there was a Get Options from Glossary toggle. If you had it activated in previous Jet Engine versions, after the update to 3.3, this toggle will disappear but the glossary option will be selected in the options source control. The meta field itself will not be affected. And the last one, query builder, options will be fetched from the query results. If you use the query option, you should also specify the fields for fetching the value and the label. In the query builder, you now have the option to disable Query caching. While it is usually unnecessary, this feature can be helpful in specific scenarios, for example, to get a random post order, and so on. Jet Engine introduces a new view type based on the Timber plugin, which integrates the Twig template engine into WordPress. This empowers you to create a listing template using Twig providing optimal performance, flexibility, and a clean HTML. So, Twig slash Timber is a new view type for Jet Engine listings, along with the existing Elementor, Block Editor, and Bricks views, and it works based on the Timber plugin. Twig Template Engine is a library that provides a simplified syntax for writing PHP templates to make them as close as possible to pure HTML. So, how does it work? Of course, you will need to install a Timber plugin. After that, the new Timber slash Twig option will be added to the Jet Engine listings. If you choose this type when creating a new listing item, the Timber Editor interface will open. 
As of now, the editor fields are initially empty, and in the future we will probably add some default content here, depending on the listing settings. For a quick start, you can use one of the presets. The presets have been created based on post content, so they might show incorrect results if you use other content sources in the listing. Now let's take a look at the editor. There are three main sections – HTML editor, CSS editor, and the preview area. To avoid incorrect render results or not to overload your server, the preview area doesn't get refreshed automatically after each new line of HTML code. So to see the results, you should press the reload button in the preview area. However, CSS code takes effect immediately if the corresponding HTML code has already been rendered in the preview section. You can set the width of the preview area by using controls on the right side of the editor, just above the preview section right here. The HTML editor supports any language structures of Twig. Other than that, we have integrated some native Jet Engine components as well as some from Timber and Twig and added the UI for using them. Let's have a closer look at them. Dynamic Data It is a simplified version of dynamic widgets that other listing views have. The reason why it is simplified is not because of the editor's restrictions, but because since you write HTML manually, you only need dynamic data itself without any additional HTML wrappers. The UI offers two sets of functionality for dynamic data – Jet Engine and Default Data. The Jet Engine one represents the dynamic data specific to Jet Engine. At the moment, there are dynamic data, similar to dynamic field in other views, and dynamic URL, a mix of dynamic image and dynamic link. The default data set represents data specific to Timber. Jet Engine and default data differ in their operation logic and, accordingly, in their appearance in the editor. The Jet Engine data will be something like this. This entry looks like a PHP function and it is actually a function but wrapped in a twig syntax. And this is the default data which looks like accessing nested elements of a certain object in JavaScript. Filters allow you to change any dynamic data. According to their operation logic, they are very similar to callback functions for dynamic field. Actually, these callbacks migrated to filters and there are a few native filters available in the UI. The conditional tags button appears in the UI only if the dynamic visibility module is activated and allows you to use the conditions that this module adds inside the Twig editor. But in general, conditional logic is available in Twig out of the box using such lines. And now let's move on to the last but not least important update the new advanced date meta field type and recurring events in the calendar. This feature is designed for posts and simplifies the creation and display of the events on your website. When creating a meta field, you will be able to add a new advanced date field type. After that, you will see such an interface when creating a post. The date picker looks the same as for the standard date field. So after selecting the initial date, you can specify the end date if needed and add the settings for repeating. Due to the fact that we use standard WordPress data processing methods, 
the recurring event must be limited either by the number of repetitions or it should have an end date. It is a mandatory condition and without it there is no way to fetch event posts from the database and display them on the corresponding dates in the calendar. Therefore, an infinite number of dates for the future events cannot be created. Now let me show you how to display recurring events in the calendar using the new advanced date meta field and building a listing template using Twig. Firstly, make sure you have the Jet Engine 3.3 plugin installed and activated with the calendar module enabled. Of course, to create a listing template, you will also need the Timber plugin and Elementor or Block Editor. And now let's start with adding a meta box with the advanced date field to a CPT. Go to the dashboard Jet Engine Post Types. Create a CPT with the necessary field. Now proceed to the Jet Engine Meta Boxes tab and create a new Meta Box. Unroll the Visibility Conditions block and select the required CPT from the Enable for Post Types drop down menu. Now unfold the Meta Field block and select the Advanced Date Meta Field option in the Field Type drop down menu for displaying the recurring events. And I will also add a Meta Field Time. Add a new CPT post and modify the following settings of the advanced date field of the meta box. Select a date when the event starts in the start date calendar field. Then enable the has end date toggle to select the end date for a multi-day events if needed. Of course, make sure to enable the easy recurring toggle and choose one of the options from the drop-down menu. For example, the weekly option turns on the buttons to select days of the week for displaying recurring events. There is also a drop-down menu to select the after or on date options and specify the number of iterations or the end date respectively. I will also set time hit Publish, and we can move on to the next step. Now we need to create a Twig listing to display the event data. Proceed to Jet Engine Listings. Hit Add New. Select Post as a listing source and specify the post type that you previously created. Give it a name. And lastly, choose Timber slash Twig in Listing View. Once you hit the Create a Listing Item button, you will be redirected to the Timber Editor. I will use one of the presets and select the needed meta field for dynamic data. So depending on your needs, display the needed post information and add a CSS code. In my case, there is just the events, time and title. Once you're done, save the template. Now as for displaying the recurring events in the calendar widget. Open a page where you want to display the calendar or create a new one. Find the calendar widget and drag and drop it to the page. Now set the following settings for the calendar widget. Select the created listing item from the listing drop-down menu. Then choose the date from custom field option from the group posts by drop-down menu. 
and uh, fill in the meta field name with the advanced data field name. And don't forget to activate the allow multi-day events toggle for the event with the previously activated has and data toggle. The end data field name does not need to be completed because the data will be automatically obtained from the source field. Here is how it looks on the front end. The recurring events are displayed in the calendar now. So Jet Engine 3.3 brings even more awesome features for you to enjoy the website building with Crocoblock. Don't hesitate to grab the new plugins version and dive deep into the recent update. Also, check the links in the description down below. And guys, share in the comments what's your favorite feature or what else you are waiting for to be added. I hope you enjoyed this extensive overview. Give us a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.